Oh yeah. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. Hope your training's going well. A couple of new parcels have arrived at the house that I thought I'd jump into, one of which is the new Adidas Prime X Strung 2. I was a big fan of the Prime X uh, Strung, the first version. I put about 270 kilometers into this shoe, so I've been really looking forward to getting my hands on the new one. And I've also got another parcel that came to the house uh, while I was away. Uh, and this is my race number for the Vitality 10K this Sunday. Here's my number, 2044. I'm gonna be starting in the first wave, um, which I believe is just behind the, the Elite Start. So perfect positioning. Um, if you want to come down to London to watch the race, it's this Sunday um, and it starts at 10 o'clock. If anyone is there watching um, and has got uh, access to a phone or camera, if you could film uh, landscape so like this and if you get any footage of me that would be great if you could we transfer it over to me uh, and send me a link via Instagram that would be amazing but anyway let's get in to what's in this box what you clicked on this video for the new Primex Strung 2 from Adidas um, I was very kindly sent this um, pair of shoes by Pro Direct Running um, the sponsors of today's video so if you'd like to pick up the shoes uh, that you see in today's video, then they're available on their website and I'll leave a link down below. Um, these shoes cost £250, so I'm very thankful for the guys at ProDirect for sending me a pair, but I will try to, as always, be as non-biased um, and as open about my thoughts and opinions here on the channel as possible. But here it is, the Prime X Strung 2. Wow, beautiful looking shoe. And you've got this huge chunk of Light Strike Pro from Adidas. There's lots of technology in here. And I'm going to talk you through before I take it out uh, on a run this morning. So I haven't run in this shoe just yet, um, but I've got 20 kilometers of easy slash steady running to do today uh, in my training plan. So I thought what better shoe to take out for that run than the Primex Strong 2. So yeah, I'm going to lace this up today and share with you my first impressions and talk you through a bit of a comparison between um, oh, the, the new version here as well as the predecessor. Um, that I've run about 270 kilometers in, and I'll talk about what's changed in the new Primex Strung. Noticeably, I can feel a little bit of weight uh, increase in the Primex 2, which is a bit of an elephant in the room. If you've watched any other shoe reviewers, um, a lot of them have been saying that the weight increase has been a little bit of a shame. Um, so I'm gonna be testing that out. I'll let you know how it feels on foot, if I can notice that weight gain. So I wear UK size seven and a half or EU 42. Um, so I'm just going to put them on the scales now. Obviously I've worn this one quite a lot so it may weigh a little bit different to what it did when it was new. So in my UK 7.5, the original Primex Strung weighed 238 grams. This one weighs 286 grams. So quite a noticeable difference there. So it's around 40 grams of increase which yeah I can feel in hand but I'm hoping that when I've got it on foot I won't really notice that. Um, and this is a training shoe. I'm not gonna be racing in this shoe, so it isn't really too much of a concern for me, but I'll let you know how it feels when I'm out there on the run. Before I take the shoe out, I'll go through a few more of the stats and features that you can expect in this shoe. Um, so one of the main reasons I've been really excited to try this one out is just because of how much technology and innovation has been put into this shoe. So if you can see here, there's three layers of this Light Strike Pro, um, which is Adidas' most responsive um, foam found in their carbon racing shoes. Um, but we've also got this middle section here of Light Strike Pro, which I believe is a slightly different um, makeup of the of the compound, which is supposedly a little bit more bouncy, more responsive than the other Light Strike Pro that you find at the top and the bottom of this midsole. And wedged in between those three layers, we've got two carbon fiber plates, which I think, I could be wrong, is the first time we've ever seen uh, two carbon fiber plates in a racing shoe, which supposedly, according to Adidas, is to give like a, a spring-like sensation underfoot. So when this foam compresses between the two carbon fiber plates, it should give you a really bouncy, responsive energy return. Interestingly, you can also see through this midsole, there's a gap that goes all the way through, sort of in between the two carbon fiber plates. And you can also see the carbon fiber plate here on the bottom. In terms of stack height, we've got 50 millimeters of foam same as what we had in the previous version. That makes this shoe illegal for professionals to use over the race distance. If you wanna race in a shoe as a pro, you need 40 millimeters or less of stack height and only one carbon fiber plate. So in terms of legality, you can't race in this one if you're a professional, but if you're like me, an amateur runner, you're not at the pro level, then we can race in this shoe, no problem. I personally probably wouldn't, 
um, just because I would feel like I've cheated myself a little bit if I did get a PB in this shoe. Um, but if you wanted to line up for your next marathon in this shoe, um, as long as you're not competing for the win, then there is no problem in doing so. In terms of the outsole, we've got the Continental Rubber. In my opinion, Continental Rubber is probably one of the best outsoles that you can get on a shoe. It seems to last forever, um, as you can see here from the previous version. Um, 270 kilometers, nearly 200 miles, and in terms of wear, I would say it's pretty minimal. And then finally, on to the upper. Again, super innovative from Adidas. We've got this new strung technology um, where all the individual fibers are sort of laid across the foot to offer a really secure, tight lockdown. Some of the fibers feel more strung than others, so in it's a bit like a guitar. Um, some of the strings are a bit tighter for, for certain um, purposes. So for example, around this heel counter here, I've noticed that it's, it's very, very strong. And then in the toe box area, the fibers are a little bit looser and you've got a little bit more movement and wiggle room for your toes. That's about it in terms of stats. I'm gonna lace it up and take it out for a first run. Oh my God, it's so windy. So I just went through 5K in these new shoes. First impressions are they are super, super bouncy. When I land on my forefoot, it literally feels like I've got springs underfoot, um, which is a pretty fun and bouncy sensation. Kind of reminds me a little bit about uh, my first run ever in uh, a Nike Alpha Fly. They sort of have that same sort of feeling. Super bouncy, really enjoying them so far. Just got to try and survive the wind today because it is super, super blustery. So. Might not do too much talking, but enjoying them a lot so far. So I just got back from my first run in the Adidas Primex Strung 2. Overall, I really, really enjoyed the ride. I think I averaged around 4.12 per kilometer, which is a little bit faster than my usual easy run pace. Um, purely down to the technology in this shoe. The carbon fiber plates, the foam working, just really encourage you to run a little bit faster. And it almost felt a little bit more comfortable at a steady effort. Um, compared to my usual easy run pace. I can already tell how I'm gonna use this shoe moving forward. I think it's gonna be a great long run shoe for when your legs are feeling a little bit tired in marathon training, um, and also gonna be great for those longer intervals. So for example, uh, seven by 3K, that's a good session that I do in my marathon training. I can already tell this shoe would be really well suited to that. Uh, it helps protect the legs and it offers a lot of um, assistance in terms of performance just because of how bouncy and poppy the ride is. In terms of my first impressions, I would describe it as a really unique ride. It's hard to compare it to anything else on the market in terms of comparison, um, just because of how bouncy it is. That sheer 50 millimeter, of, 50 millimeters of foam underfoot just gives you a really poppy sensation that no other shoe really has. Um, the way I would describe it is it almost felt like I was bounding from step to step. Um, I could feel like my foot strike or my stride length, sorry, was, was widened by this shoe. I'm not sure if that's true, but that's just how it felt. Um, it really felt like I was bouncing along the ground um, pretty effortlessly. I would also go as far to say as this almost felt a little bit too responsive for easy running. Uh, I think it's going to be more suited for my steady, uh, more marathon paced runs uh, moving forward just because of the technology in the shoe. You've got the carbon fiber plates, you've got that super responsive midsole, uh, and to be honest with you, on an easy run, you don't really need all that in a shoe. But when it comes to the longer stuff, where well, you're wanting to maintain marathon pace over a long period of time, on tired legs in marathon training, this is gonna be great, and I look forward to using it more throughout my training. I will do more of a, a full review after I've run a bit more miles in this shoe, say a 100 mile review, so make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, to find out how I get on well with it over the next few months. On to the weight, I'm not gonna pretend that I didn't notice the weight increase between this version and the red version that you see behind me, um, but once I got out the door, I soon forgot about it, and the sheer responsiveness uh, kind of offset any weight gain for me. Uh, it feels even more responsive than the previous version, and I would say probably a little bit more stable, especially in the rear of this shoe. When I landed 
in the previous version of the Prime X, it felt a little bit wobbly underfoot, whereas this one feels a lot more stable. I think it's probably due to the carbon fibers uh, plates in the shoe being like a proper plate, if you know what I mean, rather than the strong um, sort of prongs you get in the carbon fiber rods that Adidas use. Lockdown didn't have any issues whatsoever. I did get a tiny little bit of a hot spot uh, where this area of the shoe sort of connects to the upper. Hopefully it was just something that needs breaking in, but it's something I'll monitor over the next few runs. And finally, to wrap up my first impressions of this incredible shoe from Adidas, um, it definitely is one of those shoes that is a proper step forward in terms of what's possible in a shoe. Um, I feel like £250 is a very expensive price point for this shoe, but I can see why um, given the technology that has been put into this shoe and it's a real experience running in it. Um, nothing like I've experienced in, in any other shoe. The closest I could compare it to, as I said, when I was out running was the Alpha Fly when I first ran in that shoe. It just feels, yeah, incredibly bouncy. There's no other word to really describe it than bouncy. So I'd recommend this shoe to somebody who is marathon training, who's looking for a fun, bouncy shoe to add to their rotation that's gonna protect your legs when you're feeling a little bit tired. For me, long runs uh, in this shoe at the end of a big mileage week are gonna be great, and I can already see myself using it for those sort of runs. Also, my intervals, the longer intervals, I think the longer the interval, the better for this shoe. It's suited more to, to a longer run just because of the way it's designed with that 50 millimeters of protective midsole underfoot. And I'd also recommend it to somebody who's looking to purchase a fun shoe that they can do all their training in and then transition into race day as well. But yeah, that pretty much summarizes my first impressions of the Adidas Primex Strung 2. An incredible shoe. I really, really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to putting a lot more miles in it. Just want to say a big thank you to ProDirect for sending it my way. And if you'd like to pick it up, then you can do so via the link in description. But until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire, and we'll see you again soon.